fair warning, this review contains spoilers, so if you haven't seen the movie yet, then it's best to come back after doing so. If you don't care, then ride on. I like Hideki Anno just fine, but I'm not one to blindly praise everything he does. He's definitely an acquired taste. You're either gonna like his new release or not. Case in point, everyone loved Shin Godzilla, but I personally didn't like it. Recently, a lot of people didn't like Shin Kamen Rider, but I loved it. A flawed film for sure, but a much welcomed alleviation from the recent Kamen Rider titles that have besmirched the franchise into campy toy commercials. Sheen Kamen Rider is a simple yet effective return to roots that recalls the wonder and adrenaline that made us fans to begin with. Similar to Sheen Ultraman, Anno adopts an episodic structure for the first hour, but I argue it's done better here because there's less villains and more room to breathe and process things, as opposed to Sheen Ultraman that had the protagonist deal with Narunga, Gavora, Zareb, and Mephilus in the first hour. Anno takes advantage of the extra space to expand on character development that is surprisingly good, as well as adding humor at moments that are unexpected but welcomed. Most of the characters are an improvement over their 1971 counterparts. Takeshi Hongo has more depth and benefits from an empathetic performance by Sosuke Ikematsu, mostly by facial subtleties. Unfortunately, Hayato Ichimonchi is treated more like an afterthought with little to no time given to explore his backstory, but he has his moments thanks to Tatsuko Emoto's charisma. Ano does a surprisingly great job at expanding certain roles, especially Ruriko played by Minami Hamabe and Hiromi played by Nanase Nishino, both who delivered the best moments of the entire film. But there are times when the characters, particularly the villains, get too comical. Even the film itself gets a little too comical at times, but Anno manages to bring it back down to earth before going overboard. However, I found it polarizing that Anno added Robot Detective K as a villain, and even more perplexing that Anno doesn't know what to do with him. K just wanders around observing things and never does anything significant. The production values are a mixed bag. Anno delivers the martial arts action one expects from Kamen Rider, even delivering blood and gore in the opening, but for some reason, that bloody violence disappears for the rest of the film. Nonetheless, the fight scenes are solid enough and benefit from live-action footage than CG footage because the latter looks terrible, especially during the tunnel battles which resemble a PS3 video game that suffer from poorly rendered CG and even poorer lighting. Surprisingly, Anno doesn't bring back his frequent music collaborator Shiro Sagisu, and I dare say that it's an improvement. As expected, some tracks from the 1971 TV soundtrack are snuck in, and as usual, I don't believe that the Showa era music and sound effects fit in a modern setting, but the original score by Tako Iwasaki is shockingly good. It sounds similar to Sagisu's music, but it sounds like Iwasaki found what was missing from Sagisu's music and improved upon it tenfold. I heard some complaints about the pacing, but does anyone remember Shin Godzilla? That film suffered from rapid-fire quick cuts, awkward camera angles, and repeated sequences of political and pseudo-scientific jargon that dragged. Thankfully, Anno doesn't overuse that approach this time, and settles for a very simple yet smooth flow that never rushes nor drags the film, and exposition is only used when necessary. Sheen Kamen Rider is no masterpiece, but it's a damn good entertaining blockbuster, and a better remake than 2005's Kamen Rider the First. The film mostly benefits from decent action, unexpected humor, a touching humanistic story about coping with trauma through empathetic characters, and a surprisingly restrained direction by Anno that feels more confident and focused than his films of the last 10 years. Newcomers may feel put off, but not because of the film's outlandish nature or fan service, but because the film itself harkens back to the narrative style of the 1971 series to a fault, a period piece that fans may only appreciate. Nonetheless, longtime fans will find a solid remake that would make Shotaro Ishinomori himself proud. I award Sheen Kamen Rider 3 stars out of 4.